Hello everyone, I'm Sarah, and welcome, or welcome back, to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the super easy and super quick hooded cowl. I'm calling it the let's go hooded cowl because it's the perfect thing to just slide on over a sweater or a coat or maybe just a jean jacket and let the hood just sit down the back and then if it starts snowing or gets windy and cold you can pop your hood right on. Now it's going to fit about a 24 inch head and it's going to be a little bit roomy because we want you to have room for your hair or whatever. <laughs> And so it is a roomy hood. It's a lot of fun to wear. Super easy to make. And you're going to be surprised that how quickly it stitches up. Now you can find this complete crochet pattern with pictures and notes on my blog. And as always, I'll put that blog link right down there in the notes underneath this video in that description box. To make our Let's Go hooded cowl, you're going to need a bulky number five yarn. Now I have this yarn on hand that I purchased and you're going to need approximately eight and a half ounces, which measures out to about 330 yards. And it really depends on how tightly you stitch. Now one of these Ogo Yarnspiration Colorama this colorway is called Overboard. It has 6.4 ounces, so one will not be enough. You'll need about one and a half. All right, but don't panic if you don't have this yarn. You can use any bulky weight number five yarn for this project, okay? There's lots of wonderful other yarns that can be used. Any, any, any bulky number five yarn, whether it's solid, striped, variegated, whatever colors that you want to use. I have this on hand and I wanted to give it a try. I do like the yarn as far as crocheting with it and how it stitches up. And so it's perfect for this project. We're going to be stitching today with a K hook. The K hook is a 6.50 millimeter crochet hook. And the only other things that you need to stitch up our hooded cowl is a needle for weaving in ends and a pair of scissors. I opened up my Ogo yarn and I placed it in this container. I've already cut the plastic out. And I find that by sticking it in a container like this, you can use a bowl or something else. It helps contain the yarn as you're working with it. All right, so the demo hat or hood that I made began with the blue. This one is beginning with the white. So keep that in mind. When you buy a couple of these, they may not end at the same place. So we're going to begin with the hood and we're going to start with a slip knot and we're going to loosely chain 30 chains. And the reason we're going to do this loosely is we're going to be starting at the back of the hood and we're going to be stitching on both sides of that chain. So I'm going to stitch 30 chains. I have chained 30 chains, just a little bit loose. And we're going to begin by stitching a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two yarn over and go through the second two. And now we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each of our chains across until we reach that last chain. One double crochet in each of our chains across. I have stitched starting in the fourth chain from the hook and remember this chain three counts as one and then I stitched a double crochet in each of my chains across until I reached my last chain and I'm going to stitch two double crochets in this last chain. So one and two. 
So at this point, we have 29 double crochets because we started in the fourth, we are counting this chain three as one, and then we stitch two in the last. So we have 29 double crochets. Now we're going to do what's called stitching down the opposite or other side of the chain. So we're going to take our work and turn it this way. In this first chain, working on this side, we're going to stitch two double crochets. One and two. Oh, got a little string there. There we go. And now we're going to stitch one double crochet working back down this chain. So we'll stitch one double crochet in each of those chains working down the other or opposite side of our chain. And this is forming the very back of our hood. See how that looks? We had two on this side, then we just went over to the other side of our chain and stitched two double crochets in that first stitch. And now we're stitching one double crochet in each of these chains, working back down, again, what's called the other or opposite side of our chain. And we'll continue this working all the way back down to here. One double crochet in each of those chains. So I finished stitching one double crochet in each of those chains working on the other side or opposite side of the chain. So we had 29 double crochets on this side and we have 29 double crochets on this side. So 29 plus 29 is 58 total double crochets. We're going to chain three and turn. Now what we're going to do is place one double crochet in each of these double crochets working all the way around. Now our chain three counts as our first, so we'll begin in the next double crochet and stitch one double crochet in each of those stitches working all the way around. And as you stitch this row, you'll begin to see how our hood is going to lay. This is a super easy pattern, and that's why I wanted to get this pattern out there because it's super easy, and the yarns you choose are what makes this pattern work so perfectly. Just by changing the colors, whether you go from striping to variegated or all solid, changes the look of this pattern because it's a very simple, mostly stitched in double crochet pattern. All right, so I'm just gonna continue stitching one double crochet and each double crochet working all the way around back over here. I completed row two. We started over here with our chain three one double crochet in each of our double crochets around. So again, we have 58 double crochets, and then I chained three. And so what we're going to do for row three is we're just gonna repeat what we did for row two. We have our chain three, we're going to stitch a double crochet in each of those double crochets, working all the way around, just like we did with row two. I told you this is a super easy pattern and it's a great way to learn how to do that working on both sides or the opposite side of our chain and also how to form a really easy hood. So I'm just going to continue stitching one double crochet in each of those stitches working all the way around to that other side. I have completed row three and I wanted you to see the way this looks. Here's our center seam 
and then row one, row two, row three. And this is the forming the hood. You can see how this is the back of the hood and we're forming the hood by doing our rows back and forth. And so what you're going to do is you're going to continue to repeat what we did on row three for eight more rows. Eight more rows of chain three, one double crochet in each of the double crochets around, chain three, back and forth for eight more rows. All right, and that's going to form the hood of our hooded cowl. So we're going to repeat row three for eight more rows. This is how your hood should look after 11 rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 rows. You want to make sure when you're on your 11th row that you're going to end here. It doesn't matter. There isn't a front and a back to your hood. I should say an inside or an outside. Because of the way we work the rows, it doesn't matter. And so you want to make sure that you flip your hood out because we're going to be working on front post stitches on this row and you want your stitches to be worked on the front posts, okay? And so what we're going to do, we chained three and then we're going to alternate front post and regular double crochet. Our chain three counts as one double crochet. We're going to double crochet around the front post of the next stitch. Now we normally stitch up here, but we're going to go around the post and stitch a double crochet. Then we'll go to the next stitch and stitch a regular double crochet. Then we'll go to the next stitch and stitch around the post of the double crochet. So we're alternating regular double crochets and front post double crochets working all the way around the edge of our hood. Regular double crochet in the next stitch, front post double crochet in the next stitch. And we'll work this all the way around that edge of our hood. I completed that row stitching, double crochet, front post, alternating all the way around. And that brings us back here, chain three and turn. All right, so we're going to be repeating this row, but because we're stitching on the back side, we'll be stitching back post instead of front post. All right, so here's our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to back post in that back post stitch. And it's called a back post because it's on the back side. All right. So basically we're repeating and we're putting a double crochet in the double crochet and then a back post double crochet in those front post stitches we did on the previous row. So double crochet and back post double crochet alternating. And that's going to give us a really nice edge on our front edge of our hood here. All right, so double crochets in the regular double crochets and back post double crochets in those front post stitches.
and we'll repeat this all the way around this edge. I completed that row of double crochet, back post, double crochet, alternating, and you can see it makes a really nice edge on our hood. All right, so the last thing we need to do on the hood portion is to just chain one and now we're just going to start in that first stitch and stitch one single crochet in each of these double crochets working around the edge of the hood and that's just going to give a nice finish edge to our hood and once we finish this row we're going to begin working on the cowl all right and the cowl is completely attached we don't have to cut our yarn, we just keep going. All right, so one single crochet in each of those double crochets, stitching all the way around the edge of the front of our hood. I have stitched one single crochet in each of those stitches, working all the way around the front. This is our front edge of our hood. Now we're going to turn our work so that we're going to be working across the bottom of our hood. See, here's our hood opening where our face will be, and we're going to be stitching across the bottom. And what we're going to do is evenly single crochet across. I'm going to chain one just to get me where I need to be because I want to stitch a single crochet right in the side of that first single crochet. And I want to stitch evenly across and the best way to do that is to try to stitch in the sides of those stitches and not the holes that'll give you a much more even appearance for your hood and cow all right so i'm just going to go across evenly single crocheting now there will not be a set number of stitches you're going to just have to eyeball it and look at it. Make sure they're even, not all bunched up and not pulled apart. All right. So evenly single crochet across the bottom edge of your hood. And that's all the way around till we get back over here. All right. Evenly single crochet across the bottom edge of our hood. I evenly single crocheted across the bottom edge of my hood. All right, and so when I get to this other edge, we're going to chain 20. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Let me make sure I only stitch twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right. So now we're going to take that chain. Let me turn this so you can see better. And we're going to join it to this first single crochet on this side with a slip stitch and then we're going to chain three all right so let's take a look at that we single crocheted around the bottom edge we chain 20 and then join with the slip stitch to this first single crochet and chained three so we chained three and although we don't have a set number of stitches we're going to just basically stitch one double crochet in each of the single crochets across the bottom of our, I was going to say hat, across the bottom of our hood. And then when we get around to where the 20 chains are, we're going to stitch a double crochet in each of those 20 chains. So one double crochet in each of my single crochets across the bottom edge of the hood. 
I stitched one double crochet in each of my single crochets working all the way around the bottom of my hood and this brings me to those 20 chains and so we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each of those 20 chains. There we go. That one had a little bit of a split in it. I have found this yarn to be just a tad bit splitty, but that's okay. It still stitches up really nicely. All right, so I'm just going to continue across stitching one double crochet in each of those 20 chains, and then I'll join back to this chain three. So I've stitched a double crochet in each of the single crochets. I stitched a double crochet in those 20 chains. I joined to my chain three and chained three. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to stitch another row of double crochets. So here's my chain three, one double crochet in each of the double crochets working all the way around and this is the part where we're forming our cowl on the bottom of our hood. So one double crochet in each double crochet working all the way around and then we'll join back to our chain three. I stitched that row of one double crochet in each of the double crochets working all the way around the bottom of my cowl. The hood's up here. Now we're working on the cowl. <laughs> so what you're going to do next is you're just going to repeat. This is row 17. You're going to repeat it for two more rows. So we're just going to stitch two more rows of one double crochet and each of the double crochets around. I repeated. So now I have four rows of one double crochet in each stitch around. And the last thing we're going to do on our cowl here is you're going to chain one after your last row. Now, if you want this to be even wider, you can add as many rows as you want to. All right, and then once you get the amount of rows that you want, we're just going to stitch one single crochet in each of those double crochets. And that'll just give us a nice edge and also help our cowl to keep its shape. One single crochet in each of the double crochets working all the way around the edge of our cowl. I have stitched that single crochet in each of the double crochets around. I'm going to join with a slip stitch and cut my yarn. I really like this project because we weren't piecing things together. We just kept right on going without having to cut our yarn. All right, so we're going to pull that loop to the inside there. And so I wanted to go ahead and take a minute to grab my needle and weave this end in and also the end that's on the inside up here in my hood. So here's my completed hooded cowl. And um, like I said, if you want the length here to be longer, go ahead and add more rows. It works perfect that way. It has a natural flare, so it'll fit nice over your neck and shoulders. But one thing I like to do is I like to add a tie right here that we can tie up that will cinch this in so that it will fit better around our neck. To make a tie for the front of our cowl, I just take one of the pieces of matching yarn, make a slip knot, and I'm going to chain about 60 chains. 
I chained 60 chains. You can do more if you want a longer tie. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this, tie this off, and then we'll put a knot in the end of each one, each end. We don't want those to come undone. Nice snug knot. And I'll go ahead and do where we started. We want to try to get that knot right up on the end of our chain. There we go. And now we're going to lace this in just in this front section here of our cowl. All right, so I'm just going to go in about every other stitch. There we go. And then we'll just grab that chain and just gently ease it through. There we go. So it's all laced through there, and it's up to you how you want to tie it. You can gather that up nice and snug and tie a bow. Or you can just leave it and just let it be there. I'm more concerned about it falling out, and so I probably won't leave it that way because I like to snug it up. You know, and I'll, you can also just... Um, Put the two ends together and tie it like that. Either way is fine, however you like it best, because you're the one that's going to be wearing it.